Hey guys, what is going on today? Today we're going to have a quick tutorial topic on how to use a bike that has a choke on it and how to start it up and warm it up. This is something uh, that most bikes nowadays probably are not going to have. I know even the little Ninja 300s now and stuff have fuel injection, so you don't have to worry about it. But if you actually have an older Ninja like this that you're buying for cheap, or you're buying an older style bike that has a choke on it, then you probably would be like, what the heck, how do I get it to start? Because it's not like a regular car where you just crank it and stuff like that. Well, obviously back in the day, they used to use chokes to warm up the vehicles, and uh, it was like carbureted and everything's different. You didn't have the fuel injection problems and all that fun stuff that's all technology has gotten away with. But some of the older bikes still use this technology where you're going to have this lever you're going to have to actually warm the bike up on. And uh, for you guys that are live up north, it actually has to take a little bit longer to get warmed up than it is, say, in the south. Here, it's so hot right now. It's like, oh, I think it's the heat index, I think it was 104 degrees. So it's not going to take long to heat this up. So what we're going to do is I'm going to bring it in here close. We're going to just show you a simple basic tutorial of how you get it started, how to warm it up before we can go for a ride. So guys, I hope you, this helps you out. Uh, I will talk to you in a second here as the plane flies over on the way to Inter Orlando International. Oh, it's a helicopter. I can see it. And guys, I hope you like this tutorial. I hope it helps some of the new people out out there. And feel free to ask me any questions you want. I will see you in a second here. All right, guys, here we go. We're back here. I just wanted to also mention that uh, the technology is so old that most vehicles today don't even have a choke, as you guys probably well know. I'll tell you how old school this is. When I started UPS back in the late 90s, there was only a few trucks that actually still had a choke on them, and you had to actually warm them up But at the beginning of the day before you go out there and drive them. But even now, the UPS trucks nowadays have fuel injection, so they got rid of them. They were like 1970-something, 19, early 1980s models. So you can see where we're coming from technology-wise. Everything has changed. So basically, it's just, you know, you can leave it all the way back here if it's a very cold day. Uh, my bike usually doesn't need that because it's so hot down here already, so I might turn mine up a little bit. But if you were in a cold day, you would actually have to turn all the way back to uh, get it going to get it cranked. Now, it's a little bit warmer for me, obviously, so I'm going to put it maybe halfway up here. You want to obviously turn it on, and then you're just going to roll it on here. And what you're going to do now is you're going to actually have to wait for a few minutes, get it warmed up, and it will actually get louder and louder as the time goes. And as the time goes, you're going to want to adjust this. You see how it's wanting to die right now on it, guys? Well, you're going to want to actually turn it down here. You see that? To where you get a nice, stable run. And then basically what you're going to do is, hear it? See, if I pull the chuck all the back, it'll actually run higher. See? But obviously, we don't want it revving that high, so I'm going to adjust it manually, like here, until I can get a nice sweet spot where it's going to warm up over time. Basically, that's all you want to do. Usually, for a bike like this, I might only give it a couple minutes max before it should be okay and good enough to get out there and ride. And once you are warmed up, you should be able to push this all the way forward and it'll stay on. And uh, you won't have any problems at all. That's basically all a choke is, is how you actually start up a bike with a choke system, or a car for that matter, or a truck, like you know, an old truck that we had at UPS, uh, to get it actually started. So basically that's all this tutorial beginner little thing is. So we're just gonna get it up here, a little warmed up. Yeah, it's ready to go now. So you want to bump it up so you guys turn it up a little bit more now from here. And that's generally it. Once I can get all the way to the top, I know it's good to go. And we're fully warmed up for the day. And we're ready to go out there and have a great ride. Maybe do a little motor vlog or two. So anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this little quick little topic tutorial. I haven't seen any on YouTube yet that does the how to do it yet. I'm sure there are out there. I just haven't searched hard enough for it. But I figured I'd do a quick video of it. You see, I can sit there and tone it down now. It's just, it's just idling now. See what I mean? Now we're all the way forward. We're warmed up. And there you go, guys. I hope you liked the video. If you did, give me a quick thumbs up for me. Uh, I really appreciate it. Subscribe to my channel. Ask any questions you want. I'm here to help all the beginner riders out there because I was a beginner rider just last fall and I wanted to be able to help everybody I can because I was doing the same stuff, looking up stuff, and I would might be able to find one video from this guy or one video from this guy or maybe no videos at all. So that's why I always try and help out the new guys. So anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. It's time to get ready to go for a ride. Thank you so much, and I will see you at the very next video. Later, y'all. 250 love, baby. Woo!